What's going on guys? Welcome to another video where I talk about everything interesting to me in the world of technology. Let's get started with Google, Motorola, and Intel. The two companies are joining forces and supposedly they're going to be creating the fastest smartphone on the market. We all know how Intel makes their chips. Possibilities are going to be crazy. I can't wait for them to produce this phone and I think it's going to be a great partnership with the two companies. Now as far as a phone that's going to be coming here a little bit more in the media future, we have the Nokia Lumia 920. This phone is a beast. You could throw it against the wall. You could throw it against the floor. It has grilled glass. It's just a really well built phone well constructed I think other companies like Samsung should take note and follow them you want to feel like you spent your money on something that's worth it and the sign of that is that the phone is actually structured and manufactured properly get rid of the cheap plastic make it like it's something you hold that feels like an actual phone that's well built and also another feature that Nokia is bringing is wireless charging this company is doing some amazing things I don't really like the fact that putting a Windows platform on the phone I'm a fan of Android but as far as I'm concerned Nokia is bringing some great things to the market and let's not forget Apple what the heck were they thinking about with Apple Maps this thing was so buggy and messed up, it wasn't even funny. If you even loaded it for one city, you would see that the 3D renderings were messed up, or even the locations. I mean, you'd think that somebody would be testing it over there, but maybe they were too busy trying to ban phones. And Apple fans are asking for Google to work on this. Google already created the Google Maps application for Apple. It's up to Apple to approve it. They do not want their customers having so much contact with Google. Why? Because Google now offers smartphones and tablets. It only makes sense. I think Apple has one clear goal here, and that's to get their customers away from Google. And you know what? Leave it up to them to do that. I don't think they're going to win that battle. Google offers so many free services that are just awesome. And if you think it's going to be so easy to just create a mapping system and carbon copy a Google feature, good luck to doing that. It's a really buggy feature and it's backfiring on Apple right now. So they completely messed that up. Who's in the better position business-wise? I think what's going to happen is that Google is going to really push out their products. They have all the services people are used to, and now Apple is going to try to catch up to Google with the services. If it's any resemblance to what happened with Apple Maps, they're in a lot of trouble. So those are my opinions. You guys tell me what you think in the comments below, and let's not forget to thank our sponsor, Apple Maps. If you're ever trying to get lost, or if you want your wife or girlfriend to think you're cheating, use Apple Maps. Arrive to your destination late, Apple Maps. What an amazing and innovative product. And that's it. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys later. Cheers.